Hello everybody, my name is Tapiwa from Total Farm Solutions. I'm the greenhouse guy. I'm standing here in uh, Weza uh, and we have constructed a greenhouse measuring 10 meters by 50 meters. Uh, that's 500 square meters. So we've planted English cucumber and tomatoes. Um, in terms of the carrying capacity of the greenhouse, we can accommodate approximately uh, 1,700 plants of either tomatoes or English cucumbers. So what we have here is a variety uh, called Dreamliner for English cucumbers. And we also have another variety called uh, Trinity for, for tomatoes. Right. Um, this plant, this crop here that you're seeing for, of English cucumbers, it's approximately three months old from, uh, from planting. And uh, so far to date, we have harvested appro approximately five uh, cucumber fruits per plant. But um, I'm just going to share you a bit of some, some tips on how to prevent abortions. Because uh, cucumbers are very sensitive and uh, any stress, any form of stress uh, will cause abortion on your English cucumbers. Like I just want to show you um, an English cucumber that is aborting right now. So let me just look around. Okay. These are curved uh, cucumbers. You normally don't want this in your crop. You normally don't want this in your crop because the market will not take them. So if you leave them to grow, you're actually wasting on your, on your resources. That means your fertilizer and your whatever management resources are going to waste. Um, here is an example of a plant that you can see that is actually aborting. It, start, it starts to turn yellowish, um, then it dies. Uh, fortunately, we've got another uh, fruit behind that we can actually leave to grow. So ideally, what we'd love to do is, when we, we don't encourage, you know, multi-fruiting like this. Because when a plant starts to multi-fruit, um, sometimes, you know, on the upper, upper, upper side of the leaf, or upper, um, portion of the plant it starts to to abort another thing that may cause abortion is um, when the plant has got a huge fruit load normally some 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 farmers leave the fruits to grow much big big bigger in size much much bigger than than the than the size that is required by the housewife and when that happens uh, all the nutrients now are concentrated on the lower lower fruits as a result, you know, uh, the upper fruits then uh, start aborting. So other stress factors such as nutrient uh, deficiencies will cause um, uh, abortion as well as, um, as uh, moisture. Uh, your irrigation is another factor that can cause abortion. If your water is not in the right amounts or it's, um, it's excess water, your plant will still abort as well. So those are some of the things that may cause um, abortion in, in your plants. So the idea is to always be sensitive to your plant, always give the right amount of nutrients, the right amount of water, make sure that you don't have excess fruits, um, as well as you don't have uh, fruits that are growing um, bigger than the, the, you know, the, the, the required market size. Once you do that, you can uh, surely arrest abortion. Um, the other interesting thing that you should also look at is, you know, when, you, when, your, plants are, when, your, when your fruits are actually um, growing on your stem, I would advise that you leave one fruit here and then you take off the next fruit that was supposed to come here. Then here you leave another fruit and um, here you take off on the next node, you take off another fruit, going like that, alternating. That is another way of also managing... Um, abortion of your of your of your cucumbers so i hope uh, that helps in terms of um, cucumber abortion and if you like what i said just uh, subscribe on the on the on the button below thank you so much it's tapio again from uh, total farm solution the greenhouse guy